We're going to do a quick refresher on how you geotag an image before you post it. You don't have to geotag images, but I recommend it because Google rewards local businesses, hyperlocal. The more that you can demonstrate that you are local, the more Google will reward that. So that's the whole purpose of this old challenge. So we're going to geotag a photo that we'll be posting today as an example for our challenge. And I have picked my stomping grounds, my neighborhood of Sorrento Valley. So if you're an agent that farms Sorrento Valley, you could use that. Or Del Mar, you'd punch in 92014. Or La Mesa, or Chula Vista, El Cajon, wherever your farm area is, wherever your niche is. The place that you want to be known for and you want people to find you when they're looking for a real estate agent near, near them. So if Sorrento Valley is your niche, you could pull up Sorrento Valley on Google Maps. I just punched in 92121 and the whole zip code is outlined. I'm just going to um, right mouse click in the center of that area and I pull up a longitude and latitude right there. And if I left mouse click on it, it copied it to my clipboard. So now I'm going to go to my geotag image tool. And I want to upload a photo that I have on my computer for today's challenge. So I'm going to click upload a photo and go to my desktop. And let's look for, uh, let's see, Google Post Challenge 1. So I'm going to choose the spring cleaning photo that goes with the post for today. So the image has been uploaded. You can't see it, but it's right there. Right. And it's not any in the it's there's no address associated with it. And you can say, see our location bubble is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean because we haven't put the longitude and latitude over here. So I'm going to get rid of the latitude uh, dimensions and the longitude number. And I'm going to paste what I copied over from Google Maps. So I'm going to paste that. Now, the latitude and longitude numbers are both in the same field. I'm going to highlight all the way over the longitude number, including the minus sign, and I'm going to cut that. I'm going to backspace over that comma. And then I'm going to come to the longitude, and I'm going to paste it. So now my bubble moved out of the Atlantic Ocean, and over here it looks like San Diego. And if I zoom in there, you can see it's coming right into Sorrento Valley. So I'm geotagging that picture of spring cleaning to get your house ready to sell. And I'm going to write the EXIF tags. So I have put the Sorrento Valley longitude and latitude on that picture that I'm going to post today in my Google challenge. I then download this picture and I'm going to open it up and I will save this as I'm going to save as spring cleaning. See, it's in my folder of images that I've created for our first post. So spring clean, and I'm going to say GP. So I know that's the image that's geotagged. And then I save that. Okay. Well, I do have a copy, so I'm going to do the copy of it. So anyway, uh, of course, I'm going to get a glitch like that while I'm recording. <laughs> Okay, so now that image is geotagged, and I'm going to record a second video on how to upload that into our post for our first challenge today. You got this.